chill night. Fire illuminates the sky. This can be saved now. You can't run. A will vengeance. Force piling not under their feet. Your hatred burns in the brains. There were two holy angels in the land of dawn. Raphael was to cure wounds, while Argus slain the evilness. But he lost himself and fell under the temptation of power. An ancient voice is calling out to me. Let me inherit the power of the sword. Nothing is worthy without power. Become one with the sword. Immortality or death. Amidst the misty mountains within the northern reaches of the land of dawn resides an ancient and mysterious race of centaurs. Dark forces have relentlessly tried to gain the power found within the waters of this fountain. As time went on, the centaurs tired, and attrition soon took hold. It was not until he arrived. With his mighty staff, he dispersed the evil, and with light's guidance, he led the centaur race into a new era. Hylos, the Illuminating Elder was his name. For if his blood flows, the light shall come! Goshen, you broke the family oath, tarnished the pure magic power. I'm here on behalf of the Elder Council to bring you to justice. <laughs> oh fools, save your stubborn and cowardly words! Power, family, oath. It's all bullshit. I'll prove it in my own way.
The Shadow Abyss, a hideous scar carved into the land of dawn. Innumerable demons lurk within its depths, plotting to devour the light and plunge the world into darkness. <laughs> Selina, these maggots seem to have a problem with you. <laughs> How about we play a little game with these imbeciles? Oh, how tedious, Bissy. Don't you think you're a little too serious sometimes? You poor, wretched creature! When you gaze into the abyss, the abyss gazes back! <laughs> Targets are coming up on 106th Street. I'm in pursuit. Leila, are you in position? Ready when you are. Okay, let's go. During the first stage of the Land of Dawn, the Creative world sealed Lunox away in the Twilight Orb. For countless centuries, she laid dormant, quietly absorbing the ever-growing powers of light and dark. Lunox knew the imbalance between order and chaos would last forever, and so would her duty. Hanabi? 
I have seen the fear in your heart. As the scarlet shadow really collapsed. Let's finish it now! <laughs> the blissful taste of fresh blood. Amino Havaki has been unseen. Prepare to be devoured. <laughs>
Once upon a time, Maharpura was a rich and prosperous kingdom with great historical position. Min Sitar was the prince of Maharpura. Young as he might be to serve in the forces, he was respected with his remarkable achievements and was called one of the four great generals of Maharpura. But heroes could never avoid falling for beauties. Min Sithar met up with a beautiful girl on the lakeside of the palace, and soon later they fell in love with each other. However, his father, the king, knew about it very quickly. Min Sithar begged and begged, but still his father strongly stood against his love. Tense was the atmosphere when the king held the Holy Spear towards his son. Min Sitar's father couldn't be more furious. Min Sitar realized his decision could not be changed and the consequence had already been beyond control. He was driven out of the palace. Years flew by and the king got serious disease with few days left. The palace was covered in sadness and panic. Rebel and unrest seized the chance and the whole palace fell into chaos. Foreign forces started their invasion upon hearing the death of the king. Poor Maharpura was under will of its enemies and soon became devastated. A messenger managed to escape quietly and found Min Sitar, the former prince. He told Min Sitar that the king had long ago forgiven him and now Maharpura was in great crisis. The prince should take the Holy Spear and save the kingdom and his people. The prince unhesitatingly took the Holy Spear and fought against the enemies. Finally, through countless wars, Min Sitar wiped out all the invaders and the belling enemies. Maharpura was at peace again. Prince Minsitar was deeply loved by the people and ascended the throne. He became the next king of Maharpura. Minsitar brought revolution and innovation to his kingdom. Soon later, Maharpura became a prosperous kingdom again. You must have heard many stories about mighty warriors. Badang is one of them. It is said that Badang can lift a card full of firewood with just one hand. He has a great sense of justice. Full of courage, he always fights with beasts who threaten his village. One day, his peaceful village was attacked by a monster and was overcome with panic. Badang never thought about being a hero, but he fought the monster without any hesitation. In the fierce battle, Badang's arms were severely injured but he managed to pierce the monster's eyes with his spear. The monster begged and begged, hoping the Dang could let it go. He did, and cured the Dang with a stream of strange energy. The Dang obtained overwhelming strength with which he chose to help others and find the truth behind the mysterious monster. The queen of the southern seas, Kedita, was once the princess of a small island nation. Admired by everyone, Kedita was considered by all to be genuine, intelligent, and kind-hearted. Though, fate oftentimes finds its way to hit people with strife. Kedita was no different. As the heir apparent to the king, 
A member within the royal family grew jealous of Kadita and conspired to ruin her. An unknown mage wielding the power of black magic viciously attacked the princess. Kadita came under a powerful spell that robbed her of all her beauty, giving her a strange skin disease in the process. Over time, the people's love for Kadita faded, causing her to lose power and confidence. Out of tremendous despair, Kadita threw herself into the stormy southern seas. However, Kadita was rescued by the ocean demons. The ocean demons made her the legendary queen of the southern seas. One day, a royal boat was patrolling at the sea. All of a sudden, an overwhelming tsunami destroyed the boat, throwing the royals and mages deep into the sea. Ever since, the island nation returned to peace again. In the distant land of dawn, there's always happiness and hope. Unfortunately, the dark forces lurking in the universe would never give up on invading this world of light. Eventually, the calamity befalls the land of dawn. A giant rift is forming over the land. The whole world is at the stake of being swallowed by this unexpected catastrophe. The unknown negativity is stirring the rift, longing for a new world they've never set foot upon. When crisis arises in the land of dawn, a fearless warrior steps forward and sends out a call to all the heroes in the universe to assemble! Assemble, mighty warriors! We need your power for the land of dawn! United we stand! People raise the Unite emblems in their hand, helping Harper seal the rift over the land of dawn. Peace and happiness returns. He has finished his mission. A dark figure shows up. Warriors in the land of dawn, we need your power to save Harper. Both Magic Academy and the Eruditio hoped that their exclusive power would be the key to awakening Twilight All. After absorbing both powers, Twilight Orb is awakened. <laughs> Screams and the sound of gold coins excite me! Pursuers from the Mordian Empire will never find us! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
What's that noise? I can't see a thing! for an eye. For ten years, the rage in my heart has never gone out. I will never forget the hatred of the smith. <laughs> Give you a chance to release the depression. <laughs> oh, revenge! The Imperial Knights will be destroyed by my hammer! Explosion! Chaos! Burning! That's what this place should be! <laughs> the city of technology. The meaning of change in life. It was all I cherished and fought for. However, I realized that the world was a dark and horrible joke. I finally understood how cheap life was. <laughs> Burn them! Destroy the Eridicia! So cold. Is this moonlit steep just like my sword's tip waiting for the call of death is the destiny for every assassin I emerge from the mud Dance in the blood. Nothing but chaos would make me cheer. I am Cian Finch. At the end of the long summer, Fritz was born in the Menean Empire. The whole empire was overjoyed. The royal blood would be passed down on the day Prince's first birthday. Mysterious and evil forces came to his bed. The prince disappeared that night. The Imperial Knights traveled all over the Land of Dawn, but found nothing. The king and queen were heartbroken. Sorrow engulfed the whole Manean Empire. In addition to mortality, he inherited my power. <laughs> the blood of the Empire is at my service. Dawn plan is almost done. Nost Gal, a frozen land in the far north. The indigenous inhabitants and the bears had a common ancestor, and they had lived in harmony here for many generations. However, invaders from the frozen sea brought chaos and broke the peace. In order to survive, the bears had to flee from their homes. <laughs> v 
victory was always bought with blood, but the spirit would never die. Under the guidance of the Bear King's will, Masha shouldered the fate of her clan. She would create legends for Lost Gal. Raging, the evil Abyssal army is laying siege to the Empire. Explode! Abyssal strike! <laughs> Duran crushed the barrier of justice with ease. Abyssal army is charging towards the capital. Disaster, destruction, one after another. Only the Imperial Knights are making the last stand. As the demons keep pouring in, Tigreal has no choice but order to retreat. Withdrawing to the Imperial Sanctuary is their only choice. With war raging on, our country is on the brink of destruction. Kill them all! Take no prisoners! Watch out! I can handle this! Dominus Illuminatia Mea. Watch your back! Go! <laughs> Hold the line. Don't let them pass our defenses. At Luxen Tenebris Lucet. Not a single soul can stop me! We shall fight till the end!
are the last hope for the Empire. For Monian. Attack! Abyssal demons, you filthy pests, shall never get away! <laughs> Pitiful. Prepare to die! Come back to me, brother! Once, your birth brought hope to the Empire. Your existence drove away the darkness. You used to be our pride and joy. What... what is it? Silvana never imagined that one day her brother would become her enemy. Sis... sister? Once again, fate separates brother and sister. Even the deepest bond could not rewrite their destiny. Yet, the catastrophe can never destroy the Empire. Bathed in the dawn's warm glow, life returns to the Great Monian. apart now.
Blessed ancestor! I was saved by a Valkyrie! I guess this day ain't so bad after all! We can't let Aurora Heart lose control. Aye aye, ma'am! Aurora Heart is mine! <laughs> Captain Bane! Reign supreme! Bane must be stopped! For our homeland, our ancestors and the living, we will not stop fighting the evil. I am the daughter of Northern Vale, and I swear to protect it till my last breath. Listen to me, Freya. The Aurora Heart is not just a relic. It is one of the ancient twilight orbs that the evil Lord of the Abyss is after. Dark forces will soon sweep over the land of dawn. You must live on. Protect Aurora Heart and Northern Vale. Rest assured, sister. I will protect Northern Vale till my last breath. I'm not dead! Today's my lucky day! What the? No! Ah, that hurts. Where am I? Stay back! Don't come near me, or I will not go easy on you. Huh. You're hurt. Just like that, the story of Pawpaw and Koopa began, under strange circumstances. Wanna take a bite? And so Koopa and Pop all shared their first meal together. Despite being trapped in a dangerous pit, they both felt a warm feeling growing within their hearts. Days quickly passed and our two little fellows didn't have much food left. found myself a new friend. Popple and Koopa are the best partners in the world! Ooh. This... 
godly power. What is this? Yu Jong has combined the reverse scale and the primordial spirit. He cannot leave here. The Black Dragon has returned. No one, nothing, can stop me now. Let's take him from the side! Now! Death to all who oppose me. No! So this is what I'm truly capable of. Wake up! You, John! How is this possible? You are getting rusty, brother. No! How did it end up like this? No! Welcome to reality, girl. Where the strongest rules them all. Ages ago, under the protection of mighty dragons, our world used to be prosperous and at peace. Though that was before the vicious Kraken and its minions broke through the magical barrier. Everything changed thereafter. To protect the human world, the Guardian Dragons waged an arduous battle against the Kraken. However, little did people know about the Kraken's secret power that deprived the Guardian Dragons of their energy. Ultimately, all the Guardian Dragons grew weak and debilitated. Running out of options, the Guardian Dragons had no choice but retreat to the Dragon Sanctuary, a place initially constructed by humans as a safe hold for the Guardian Dragons. With what little power they had left, the Guardian Dragons created a magic ward that was strong enough to withstand the Kraken's fearsome attacks. At the same time, they called upon all human warriors to protect the world from evil. Eventually, the first champion who successfully passed through the ward and the dragon trials heeded the call from the fiery dragon. Even the difficult challenges await him on the path ahead. Only by facing his deepest fears can the champion embrace his true destiny. My will burns like wildfire. To save the world from suffering, the Guardian Dragons harness their powers once more. Sensing the Dragon's resurgence, the powerful Kraken hastened his plan to destroy the world. Inspired by the fiery Dragon Warrior, Many fine and noble warriors entered the Dragon Trials. Among them, a warrior from an ancient elven realm made his way to the Dragon Sanctuary, where the final trial of wisdom awaited.
says a dragon tamer can't be graceful. In hopes of stopping the guardian dragons from fully regaining their strength, Kraken sent his minions to attack the dragon sanctuary. The shield protecting the sanctuary was growing weak. After attack, the Guardian Dragons barely had the power to guide the Dragon Warriors. How can a warrior from the Northern Vale enter the Sanctuary? And what would await ahead? always the right answer for the tough questions. While the Guardian Dragons tirelessly fought for the prosperity of the world, the Kraken was equally relentless in his attacks. With a final warrior on her way to aid the Guardian Dragons, the final war, the war that would determine the future of humanity broke out. Kimmy's gonna bring you a cold iceberg. A mysterious swordsman from the Cadia Riverlands heard the dragon's call. Hearing promises of divine weapons and rewards, he devoted all of his energy and time to aid the dragons, no matter the cost. With another courageous warrior accepting the challenges of the Dragon Trials, the Kraken had another fearsome opponent to worry about. My blade strikes like a splitting wind. will bloom again in the barren lands. For this land! Till the last breath we fight! It's time for me to avenge you, brother. I recognize that spear. Too bad its owner is dead. Now, it's your turn. 
<laughs> this is for the Wild Sand! And this is for Muska! These desperate fights only make the greater conqueror! Your reign ends here, tyrants! for my return. Moskov, dear brother, I'll carry on your legacy and fight on. As you wish, brother. <laughs> Consider yourself dead! Easy, easy! <laughs> let, let me find it for ya! Look! This is Dinozard Snot! It's the best moisturizer you can find on the market! You cunning rat! Enough with your tricks! <laughs> you gotta try harder, buddy! Alright, alright! I'll let you have it! Aha! Just look at it. It's the sapphire of the Northern Vale. That's worth a fortune. I'll ask you one last time. Where is the map? E easy, man. I'll get it for you. <laughs> huh? What is this? One more trick and I'll rip your head off.
between light and dark gave birth to the legendary continent, the Land of Dawn. Guided by light, civilizations and nations rose from this prosperous land, giving its inhabitants endless stories to tell. But now, blood will spill again as the fires of war consume this world. Withstanding the tumultuous currents of time for centuries, the long-standing empire is aging. Will its citizens band together to restore its former glory? In this casino of fate, you can acquire all that which you desire if you are brave enough to risk your life. Money, fame, power. Desolation as cold as ice can forge the most vicious of warriors. Home to the offspring of giants to this day, the Northern Vale is magnificently situated in the northernmost lands of the continent. In the distant east, away from the war-torn world, the great dragon and his followers watch over the mountains and rivers that nurture them, dedicating their lives to the pursuit of true wisdom. The lands to the south of the empire know no such thing as miracles nor hope. There, a long sleeping darkness stirs. One can feel the spark of war will ignite here and consume the entire continent in flames. Countless bards roam the land, chanting songs and poems of the glory and sorrow of this land, recording its history along with the oaths of heroes. Arm yourself and stand by me! Sound the horn of victory! The Hellfire will burn you into ashes. Fear and surrender are not in my vocabulary. People in the Empire don't like me, but who cares? The benevolent goddess of the moon. Fallen warriors, let me guide you home. Leo, and offer your life to me. It sounds cliche, but we can change the world. Heroes have come forth to protect the Land of Dawn, the homeland to which their duty is bound and the beliefs to which their hearts are tied. As history repeats itself, legends are sung from generation to generation. This is the land wherein epics are woven from blood and battles. Welcome to the Legends of Dawn.
go back and tell your goddamn boss that Clint is taking over this town. If not you broken again, I should have hung you to death. We will not give in. No one can take our homes from us. No one. She's She's right. Right. Now get out of here, you scumbags. Ouch! Slow down, you idiot! You will pay. Did I underestimate Clint? Or did I overestimate you? You useless trash. Aww. Who made Pop so angry? You came just in time. There's an old friend who's been making a lot of trouble. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. <laughs> I'm sure Keen has better options. Why is he sending two monkeys on a suicide mission? Hey, hey, relax. No blood will spill today if you hear me out. Hmm. Wait, Clint. Let's see what he has to say. Whoa, whoa. Listen to me, you guys. Take cover, Matilda. This bastard had his chance. Uh, don't shoot. I'm here to help. Ha ha ha, Cloud. We knew you were up to something. What made you think it was a good idea to work with these hillbillies? <laughs> Looks like someone is finally off the leash today. Kill them all! Leave no one alive! Don't let them get away! They know only death awaits them in the desert. Tie them up. Clint will return for them. <laughs> this is all because of him. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't Yo, have... Yo, homie, I was just trying to help. There is no way you can escape today. I shall bring you to justice right now. Idiot. It is a misunderstanding. He saved me. He is not one of them. He didn't come to make enemies. I guess we weren't very lucky this time. It's not fair to blame it all on me. One more word and I will knock your teeth out. We escaped for now. But Blandy will for sure take over the town and send his man after us. And my people are still in his hands. They must have ambushed along every road out of the desert. We need some helping hands. Yeah. And who would help a thief? Just hear him out. Clint! If you want to go on a suicide mission, I won't stop you. Just listen to me for once. The enemy of our enemy is a friend. Just take a look at this. But these men, will they really help us? Don't worry. I'm sure they will. Let's split up here. You guys distract them, and I'll go get I help. I full of bad ideas. Look at those people. They're notorious criminals. Even if Cain doesn't put a bounty on them, I will bring them before the bar. Did you even listen to me? How are you going to save everyone single-handedly? Huh. Let's go, Dexter. There's no way we can talk him out of it. Son of a... I trust him. We haven't heard from Claude for a while. I'm really worried. Ugh. It's been days. Shouldn't have trusted that thief. Maybe he's run into trouble.
Time to put on a show. <laughs> Take him down. Matilda, go. I got this. Hey, Sheriff, try this. <laughs> They came prepared. You should be careful, sweetheart. You leave her alone. Clint! Now tell me, where's Cloud? Well, looks like someone's gonna get a bullet today. No! No! <laughs> Your hat. <laughs> I guess a thief can be trusted sometimes. <laughs> uh, cool outfit. But this is your last time wearing it. Is that so? I beg to differ. Say hi to your old friends. Impossible. <laughs> Take him down. You get double the bounty. <laughs>
You owe me one. <sighs> ah!
everyone can be a legend. Congratulations. You are now a legend. I just did what I had to do to defend what I believe in. Defend my family. I took fight for my faith and my family. I gotta show you my skills. Not bad. No, watch this. Wow! I'm a legend for a reason. Wanna take on some new challenges? You should come to my world, the land of dawn. What are we waiting for? Everyone, Everyone can, can be, be a legend. legend. Hmm. 
on all the shards of the Twilight Fall. Calamities befell the world. Eridicio, the last haven for humanity, was about to face its doomsday together with the world. Helpless and fragile have we become. The light abandoned us. But this isn't how the world should end. I opened the portal to the past. To save the world from falling to pieces. In the stream of time, the world showed me her past. And I saw this twilight orb shard fall into the wrong hand. I realized how everything started. Hope is right in front of me. I am bound to reshape the future with everything that I have. Triumphant ceremony. No matter what I do, they won't approve. <laughs> Just in time. on the 
the front line. I deserve the honor! Leonans can be fighters too! This is not my battlefield either. I will prove myself through a different path. Robin Hood. Oh, I, uh, <coughs> I must be allergic to this stupid monkey. an idiot.
desert, there was a hidden oasis. Here lived Florin, blissfully enjoying her days. She was born with a glowing seed. The seed, however, like an enigma, had its own secrets. One day, a caravan came from afar, among whom she saw a familiar face. Behind the young man's warm smile, there seemed to be something troubling him. Like before, they talked under the starry sky. As Florin fell into a deep slumber, unspeakable unease haunted her dreams. In the darkness, greed prevailed. But the young man took her seed away. Florin woke up, only to find the seed gone. Following the caravan's trail, Florin stepped out of the oasis in search of the sea. Wherever she set foot, the sand receded and greenery spread.
Why, brother? Why must we Paxleys all take the path of magic? Am I such a disgrace to this house, big brother? of the house give the order your grace uh, but it's not my order the elders said it was our only chance not even your grace could stop us it all today we still have time even if we don't they don't have a say it hasn't started it's time for you to know the truth if you don't want to die follow me Celestial Palace hangs the heart of Anima. A piece broke off from the Twilight Orb. It is the last hope of a desperate woman who seeks to resurrect her beloved. It mended fences of the enmity between once close brothers who found out the truth from their ancestors' memoir and determined to break the family curse. It is sought after by the space-time walker who hopes to reverse the end of worlds. Fates have been unsealed. What awaits them at the end of time? <sighs> Where's Nathan? I will grant you eternal life to procure the heart of Adam. Exchange. Your descendants will be the vehicles of my resurrection. It all started with a fierce battle against the demons. My husband Irlan and I were in the front line. The demons were gaining the upper hand. 
and we decided to use the weapon of last resort. So, Casket. We won't retreat until the chant completes! So, Casket. It will create a zone that devours the souls of all lives within. They finished the spell? Why didn't I see any signal? Order is restored. Submit, inferior woman. Betrayal by my family, House Paxley. It's a scene I would never forget. Demons, elves, and even humans. All living beings were crying and running away. No. The hell was right there, in front of my eyes. With the betrayers and the spoils of war, I returned to Castle Aberlin. The family had won, but I had forever lost my beloved. I tracked all over the land of Dawn, and found out that the heart of Anima could revive the dead soul. Yet, it had only revealed itself a handful of times. I began to fear that my transient life wasn't enough to complete the goal. Valentina, if I can bring your husband back to life, are you willing to sacrifice the glory of your family? I would give up everything if I could save him. Found it. Over here. Someone else here. The heart of Anima! Leave him to me. Go!
Valentina, the great mistress of House Paxley, the one who outlived her death. I get what I want, whatever the cost. <laughs> the essence you'd think so but no
what are you? I'm the true master of this land! Face your doom! over her from above. But even a guardian angel can't protect her from all the ill intentions in this world. Her half-sister is a big bully. And finally, Melissa decided... Melissa! Oh. <laughs> you must pay for what you've done! Who? Oh, really? <laughs> Get ready, guys. is yet to come. <laughs> ah, ah, help! Ah, ah. It's getting late. Let's end this quick. Hmm? Let, let them go! Otherwise, I, I will kill her! Now, you're working my last nerve. Aha! Here it is!
get to safety now. See you around. <laughs> It's all clear to me now. I don't belong here. Not anymore. If faith serves as their butcher knife, I will burn down everything they stand for! Give it up.
that means. Oh! Defeating the humanoids enhances your weapon! Surviving players inherit the weapon level from the defeated. <laughs> Over there! That is the real target!
sent me. Xavier has betrayed the light. Now go purify. That's not what I recall. Did it take you this long to see that old man's true face? Why are you so obsessed with us? It's you. That night, the fire set everything ablaze. Everyone was running, screaming. And I was left alone. Ravens must forget their past. Well done, my child. The King of Light sees and rewards all righteous deeds. Xavier has betrayed the Light. Now go purify. Purify? Heretics. For the King of Light! For the King of Light. That was more fights than the past 17 years combined. Wounded by both the Church and the Abyss. That's cool! Ouch! Why are you so obsessed with us? Hey, you are gonna tear your wound. Leave him to me. your mother and your people. Mother? She abandoned me. Abandoned you? That night, the church slaughtered your family in the name of purification. Stay here. Everything will be all right. When you don't know what to do, smile. Mother! You hypocrites! Slandering us as heretics! Wanting to wipe us out! Only to steal our attack! Your mother saved you. Sacrificing her own life. You're the last one alive of the Free Smith's Guild. That's not what I recall. That night, who sent you? I received the order for. Oh, isn't this amazing? The Arbiter of Light, hunted by the Church. Huh? Did it take you this long to see that old man's true face? Aw, oh, give me a break!
can't die. Not now. eventually come when Theramis returns us to human. She is the queen who defends her people in the face of the Abyss. Yet a century ago, she was but a young bride. That's when the guardian of the border, Duke Atticus, requested a political marriage with the royal family. The bride arrived at the border, facing the city of barren land without the company of her groom. She governed the city, and in silence she waited. Waited for the end of the war. Waited for that postponed wedding. The 
Princess Bride, the oath-keeping knight, the war-torn city, all were waiting. <laughs> the wedding devolved into catastrophe. The defenders turned into killers and destroyers. And so the fun begins. memories time does not erase it is a blessing to bloom and to wither death is only a rotten trick
forgive me. Rot in hell. Nothing can stop them now. Not Leomord. Not even the mist. An oath is an oath. Leomord won't leave us. We will fight together. Go. For Richburg! If this is our doom, I'll console myself we fought together. Necro Keep is where the light doesn't shine, they say. But we make our own light. We hold our ground! Vexana, I did it! Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Appraiser. That's not the price for the appraisal. Not even close. Just take it, you! If you want to fight, I can always accommodate. But I wonder what Kane would do to you when he finds out. You are just as realistic and candid as they say. Don't get me wrong. I brought you something. Huh? Fredrin, there's something off about this place. Relax. I got your back. We'll be all right. Frederick, wait! What on earth? You being of great help. What's been sealed will soon return to the land of dawn. And you too will be the final offering. Who the hell are you? Dang 
Fredrin, it's my turn to save you now. No, 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 Frey! No! Compass knows my whereabouts. Don't worry. You will find me. No! I trust you would take very good care of it for me. Frey, I will find you. You have my word. Welcome to Stream Valley, a beautiful village hidden in the mountains of Cadia Riverlands. It is a home as unreal as a living paradise. Life here is simple. But fulfilling. Among the village folks, a panda named Akai is worth mentioning. He dreams to be a hero that protects people, just like his idol Ling and the panda warrior from his favorite comic book. Even though our chubby friend knows it may take him years of practice. People would tell his story by then, he thinks. For this very reason, he practices Kung Fu every day believing that diligence would one day make up for his clumsiness. But how exactly should his story begin? Maybe... What happened to Ling? His story begins now, and it goes like this.
hell are you? Harold, the one who gave you the mark. So you are the problem? Yes, and this problem is going to take over your body. No way! I will get rid of you! With this, I assume. <laughs> but sadly, this only helps me take full control. <laughs> Freedom. Huh? A plane? Hand over the stone. Interesting proposal. But no. Get him. A bit early for warm up, but I'm fine with it. Again. 
Why such a rush? Could you just cut me some slack? I really, really need this cake. Please. <gasps> You're going nowhere today. That time of year again, Granny. Ta-da! <laughs> I brought us a birthday cake. I get to eat cakes and candies whenever I want now. So you don't have to worry about me. Granny took me in before I can remember. She meant the world to me. Happy birthday, Joy. Wow! Granny, can we still have birthday cake together next year? And the year after that? And in so many years to come? Of course. We always celebrate birthdays as a family. But Granny, I don't look like you. <laughs> it's love that makes us family, dear. And I want to celebrate every birthday with Granny! <coughs> granny! We'll be better soon, Granny. However, things went against our wishes. Grandma got weaker by the day and struggled to put food on the table. for her, for our family. One, two, three, four! Oh, Get her! <laughs> you have nowhere to run! I'll teach you a lesson today! fight with other kids again? No, I tripped and fell. <coughs> Take care of yourself for me, Joy. Granny! My world dimmed. I'm doing well, really. Don't worry about me. And I even made a new friend. He's here too. Ever thought about going back home? Maybe your family's still looking for you. Family? I have no family left. I mean, the Leonins in the Gleaming Marsh. Granny said love makes a family. My home is here, and always will be. the same. Getting starved? Never again! Come on, folks. We need to finish the magic circle before the storm gets here. And funny incidents happen from time to time. <laughs> What's going on? What kind of blessed child are you? <laughs> a lightning storm could be here any minute. Everyone is preparing for it. Preparing to protect our home! But look at you! Why are you back, Joy? Why? If it wasn't for you, Papa wouldn't- Hold the... Mm -hmm. 
Don't blame him, Joy. He's just a little overwhelmed. I know. Here you go. Nature once had her blessing on our ancestor, with which the Leonins withstood the lightning storm from the abyss. And a prophecy was made after that, telling of a child born with the Leonin crystal would receive Nature's blessing. The blessed child would protect her home upon the next lightning storm, like our ancestor did. Am I really the blessed child? Kids! Follow it quickly! I can't! The magic circle What's happening? It's here! The lightning storm in the prophecy! Come on! This way! Do not fear. Preparations were made for this very moment. Take our kids to safety! Joy, we will not follow. let any child face this calamity alone. Leonins! <laughs> <laughs> 